Hi, I'm Mark McPherson. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of a particular strategy you can use if and when you think it's appropriate to do so for responding to put downs such as sarcastic comments and backhanded compliments. Now, two things before we go any further. The first is this is only one of a number of strategies I have for you for dealing with inappropriate comments and put downs. So I'm not suggesting this is the one you should use or even if you should ever use it, it really is up to you to work out what's appropriate in your particular circumstances. The second thing is this, sometimes it's best to say nothing. You do not always have to respond to every rude comment that someone makes. Sometimes it's best to simply ignore it and what I call rise above it and move on. Now having said that, let's talk about this particular strategy which I call the F-S-A-T script. F-S-A-T and each of those four letters stands for something you need to say. So let's just say, for example, early in the day you're at a staff meeting and Bill was uh, rude to you, he made a sarcastic comment to you and you think it's worthwhile uh, raising the issue with him. Well, this is one strategy you could use to do that. And it goes like this. We start off with F, of course, move on to S, then A, then T. It goes like this. Bill, early today at the staff meeting, you made a comment when you said blah, blah, blah. That's the facts bit. Then you go on to say, it seemed like you were having a go at me. It sounded like you were putting me down. I felt you were putting me down. So you've said the facts, what happened today. Then you've said it sounded like or it seemed like. Now, of course, if it wasn't earlier in the day, but it was two seconds ago, well, you'd skip the F bit. You just simply go to say, Bill, what you said sounded like. F then S. The third bit is A, it's asking a question. Bill, earlier today at the staff meeting, you said blah, blah, blah. It sounded to me like you were having a real go at me. Am I interpreting you correctly? Am I right? You ask a question about their intentions. You've said the facts, you've said how it sounded to you, so you've put them on the spot a bit there, and you're then asking a question. Now, this is what I call being diplomatically assertive. Believe me, anyone who hears you say this will be on your side because it is polite, but it is to the point. F-S-A. Now, there's a number of ways people like Bill will respond. First of all, they'll pretend they haven't heard you, so you might have to say it again. Another way is, oh, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Another way is when they say things like, oh, you're being a bit oversensitive, aren't you? Now, do not get into a debate. There's no part of the F-S-A-T script that says debate with them or argue with them. It's simply you state your point. F, facts, it seemed like, ask the question. Now, T, no matter what their response is, the T is tell them. And you need to tell them that it was hurtful. Bill, earlier today at the staff meeting, you said blah, blah, blah. It sounded like you're putting me down. It sounded like you're having a go at me. Am I correct? Then they respond and you say, look, that's fine, Bill. I'm sure you didn't mean any harm, but I want you to know that it was hurtful. Please don't say it again. You need to make that definitive statement at the end. Not in a rude way. It's what I call diplomatically assertive. Being diplomatic, but assertive. After you've said that, you need to just simply zip it up. It's over. That's it. You're not there to debate. Don't just walk off, but you've said what you've wanted to say, and if they say, oh, I'm sorry, you go, that's terrific. That's it. Do not get into a debate with this person. F-S-A-T, each one of those letters stands for something you need to say. Now, wherever you are or whatever you're doing, please look after yourselves, look after your friends and family, and I do hope to chat to you soon. If you'd like to talk to me about how I might be able to help you or any of my other strategies for dealing with bad behaviour and difficult people, please just drop me a line. Go to the contact page of my website, for example. There's a few ways you can get in contact with me there. All the very best. Hope to chat to you soon. See you later.